Good morning, Wayland. Look Good morning, Wayland. Good morning, Good morning, Wayland. I'm gonna wave away Good my morning. flag. Count all the yeah. reasons. We are the champions. There ain't no turning time. Hello, Wayland. I'm Bob Ross. And I'm Tyler McDaniel. We're here with Wayland Union News, interviewing the sophomore representatives. For snow coming. I'm Cassidy Martins. And I'm Andrew Ramball. Yeah, I was very excited. Yeah, I didn't expect it. It was very exciting. I think it's cool that people thought we would be good representatives for our class. Yeah, I think it's a really cool opportunity that we get to have, and I'm excited to do it. Um, I think our class chose us because they know that we're good people, and that we'll represent them well, and yeah. Um, I would just say be nice to everyone. Yeah, you just gotta give yourself a positive self-image and just make sure that, you know, like, you're friendly to everyone and that'll get you a long way. Probably get better time management skills. <laughs> I think that'd be good. Yeah, pick some good classes. Um, just enjoy living in the moment. Good morning, mm -hmm. Waylon. I'm Gabe. And I'm Rihanna. Today we went to Mr. Youngblood to see how he makes maple syrup. Let's go watch! Maple syrup, an item most of us eat regularly for breakfast. However, how is it made? Curious with this question in mind, I decided to go to Mr. Youngblood, an avid maple syrup pioneer, and asked him a variety of questions, including, when does one start tapping for syrup? We have those nice, clear, sunny, first spring days. That's when we're going to tap our trees. Tapping requires technique and certain tools. On the first days of spring, Mr. Youngblood explains the exact process and tools required for tapping. The, the standard equipment that we use is we use a small metal or plastic device called a spile. It's also known as just a tap. And what I will actually do is drill a hole on, on a slight angle upward into the tree. We have to get past the bark into the cambrium layer where the sap actually flows up and down the tree. Put this metal spile in, plastic spile, then we have to collect it into either a bucket that hangs on the spile or it will flow through a tube down into a bucket. We will go around collect the sap that's in those buckets and store it into a large barrel. One day of collecting to two or three days of collecting before we will actually start to boil. Making maple syrup is a rigorous process that requires skill and patience. It also requires products that are essential to making above grade syrup. I charge, I charge a premium price because I know I have a premium product and from start to finish everything comes off my land so I can demand a better product and a better price because of that. And explains the high cost. Uh, so I, I sell it at right around $20 a quart. Um, I know that you can buy it for $14 or $15 a quart. And um, that's my price and I have no problem getting it because people value the product. Thank you, Mr. Youngblood, for explaining the process of making maple syrup. If anyone's interested in more information, make sure to check out his YouTube, YB Family Farms. I'm Rihanna. And I'm Cade. Have a good day. With Hello, I'm Meredith. And I'm Bella. And today we are interviewing some of our fellow students that have decided to join the armed forces. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Devin Westfall. I'm joining the United States Army. I'm Robert Busick, and I'm joining the United States Navy. Hi, my name is Kayla Beesbrock, and I'm joining the Navy. Hi, I'm Gabriel McHugh, and I am also joining the Navy. When and why did you decide to join? Uh, I decided to join because I've actually thought about it a lot when I was growing up and I kind of just wanted to make it a thing. So I've actually been planning to join since middle school. Uh, I kind of decided to join this year because I didn't really know what else to do when my dad was in the Navy. So just kind of following the parents' footsteps. Um, I decided to join a couple months ago and the reason is because I've always wanted to travel, so this is the best way I can do it. Uh, I chose to go into the Navy for all uh, the travel as well. I've always wanted to see the world, get out of the house. Just uh, Also, I wanted to work with technology, which I, uh, the Navy's the best choice to travel and do what I love. So. How long do you plan on serving? Uh, I plan on making a career out of it. I want to do my full 20, but I mean, you won't really know until you get in. Yeah, same with me. I, right now my contract's five years, but sometimes you might as well just make a career out of it. I plan on maybe making a career out of it. 
also longer than the four years I get. Uh, I plan on serving as long as it interests me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm Bella. And I'm Meredith. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Carson. And I'm Alexis. We are going to be interviewing the seniors who are elected to Snowcoming Corps. So let's go see what they have to say. I'm Rory. And I'm in 12th grade. <laughs> I'm Zoe. I'm in 12th grade. Uh, my plans for after high school are to go to college. Probably Michigan State, but we'll see. I believe in dreaming, shooting for the start. I plan to go to Aquinas and run cross and track there. Random fact about me is I like to fish a lot. I don't like fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely surprised that I was voted to be on court because I didn't even like ask anyone. And all of a sudden they just said my name and I was like, how the heck did that even happen? But I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised too, but I'm excited. I'm not excited to buy expensive dresses. But I'm excited. My favorite memory from high school is when the girls from team won conference for the first time ever. That was exciting. And my favorite memory from high school would probably be when I won breaststroke at conference. I'm Mitchell Slink and I'm a senior. I'm Elise Gowdy and I'm also a senior. Um, I was really surprised but I'm really appreciative and happy. Yeah, I was, pr I was pretty surprised too. I didn't really think I was going to get on. After high school, I'm going to GBSU to study pre-med. I'm planning on going to Lake Forest College to play football and pursue a career in education. Um, probably one of my favorite memories from high school was in the student section at the football games. Probably beating South Christian this year. That was pretty fun. I'm McKenna. I'm Tanner. I'm honored and excited to be on court. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, honor my class. My plans after high school are to go to college and play soccer. My plans are to go to a trade school. My favorite memory from high school is making it to district finals for soccer. My favorite memory from high school is beating South Christian this year. My name is Caleb Pletcher. I'm a senior. My name is Lauren Drew and I'm also a senior. I think it's really cool. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I plan to go to Ferris. I plan on going to GVSU uh, to become a PA. Probably being a part of the golf team. Being a part of the soccer and track team. I'm Jessica. What grade are you? I am a senior. I'm Jake. I'm a senior. I'm excited and honored to be on the stool coming court. I'm super happy. It is something that I thought would be really cool to be on. And I want to thank everyone for voting for me. Um, I'm going to GRCC to study dental hygiene. I plan on taking a apprenticeship at Place Electric to be an electrician. What's your favorite memory from high school? Um, when we be um, South Christian in football. Probably just uh, hanging out with all my buddies and doing crazy stuff and getting into some trouble. I'm Corey and I'm a senior. I'm Lydia and I'm a senior. I feel pretty pretty honored to be on court. Like. It's pretty cool that my classmates were able to vote for me. I feel excited to be on court. I'm honored that my classmates voted for me. My plans are undecided currently. Um, I plan on going and playing basketball in college, but I'm undecided where I want to go. I plan to go to Ripon College and continue my volleyball career and study pre-med. Favorite memory from high school is winning a district championship and just my whole basketball career. My favorite memory from high school is beating South Christian in volleyball. Thanks for watching. See you next week.